I'm really glad to be here today. Uh, we are working hard to create a smoke-free Houston. I know I've talked about this in the past. This is an issue that I'm personally passionate about, but it's also an issue that I, as mayor of Houston, I have taken an interest in and uh, want to see us continue to spread the message that uh, smoking is a dangerous and unhealthy habit. It is the cause of a number of preventable diseases and that we ought to do whatever we can to make sure that fewer and fewer people take up smoking and try to assist those who want to stop smoking. Uh, while those are all good things to do, we also had some practical reasons for doing something recently, which was to uh, outlaw smoking at uh, City of Houston parks and on City of Houston library grounds. Uh, we spend a lot of money picking up cigarette butts, and uh, we spend a lot of time and energy in our security personnel uh, trying to make sure that those who are smoking in, in parks and in libraries don't, or on, in library grounds, outside of libraries, don't infringe on uh, the desires and enjoyment of those who are non-smokers. Uh, and then finally, it, it is personal to me, my uh, father died of a smoking-related heart attack at the age of 51. He was a marathon runner, he was in great shape, but he thought he could cheat death by working out and running and still smoking, and it caught up with him. I don't want that to happen to anybody else's dad. Uh, so, whereas tobacco use remains the largest preventable cause of disease and premature death in the United States, and over the years the City of Houston and the Houston chapter of the American Lung Association have remained dedicated to providing a more smoke-free, family-friendly environment for all, and whereas in summer 2014 Houston City Council expanded the local smoking ban ordinance to include all city parks and exterior property within the Houston Public Library system. The original ordinance banned smoking within 25 feet of all public buildings, places of employment, bars and restaurants, and at outdoor sports arenas and stadiums. And whereas the Houston Public Library System is one of the first large library systems in the country to enforce this type of smoking ban, impacting 42 libraries across the city. The expanded restrictions have also been implemented at more than 365 Houston Parks facilities, helping to address many public health concerns and provide a cleaner facility. And whereas the Houston chapter of the American Lung Association is an organization committed to the education, advocacy, and research of lung disease prevention and better lung health, and whereas on November 20th, 2014, the city of Houston will encourage citizens to participate in Smoke Free Houston Day by not smoking for at least one day if they are already smokers, with the ultimate goal of quitting completely. The City of Houston recognizes and commends the work of the American Lung Association and its efforts to ensure a smoke-free Texas. Therefore, I, Anise D. Parker, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proclaim November 20th, 2014, as Smoke-Free Houston Day in Houston, Texas. And uh, I look forward to spreading the word about Smoke-Free Houston Day. Well, thank you very much, Mayor Parker. We, in turn, the American Lung Association, have a certificate for you in appreciation of tightening the ordinances on smoking outside of public libraries and also city parks. So we present this to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited about that. I'm sorry about your dad. I lost my mom just a few weeks ago to lung cancer. I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, precipitating factors in, in heart attacks, but uh, smoking is definitely, yeah. is definitely one. It's very exciting about, excited about this, but what is most exciting is that the issue actually was presented to me by the director of the library system and the director of our uh, parks department. Uh, this isn't, we have been pursuing efforts to reduce smoking in the city of Houston, but they came as facilities managers saying, this is a problem on our facilities. And since 
as our health director knows, it's also a, a problem for those individuals who smoke. There was a convergence of, of need to make this happen.